Fact of the day. Fact of the day. Hello, hi, and welcome to Fact of the Day with me, Mark Lawson, DNA Computing. Electronic devices are pretty much exclusively just made up of silicone chips. Information is stored as binary digits, that's ones and zeros, and represented by tiny electrical charges. What is the alternative? DNA. Yes, DNA. So DNA Computer was first demonstrated by Leonard Alderman in 1994, where he used it to solve the traveling salesman problem. That's where the salesman has to travel between different cities and has to find the most efficient route. DNA stands for deoxyribonucleic acid, and it's represented by four letters, adenine A, thymine T, cytosine C, and guanine G. So just look at all of the organisms on the planet and everything that they're capable of doing. That is simply down to a combination of these four letters, A, T, C, and G. That is amazing. Now more and more people are looking at the molecular approach of using DNA in circuitry. And instead of being more like programmers, they're more like biochemists because you want to look at the individual reactions between all of the different molecules within cells. In 2000, they made a pair of tweezers which could open and close, and also they made nano-sized walking robots entirely out of DNA. So DNA is only two nanometers wide. It has a much higher storage capacity than its silicone cousins. It's also cheap, it's versatile, and doesn't require as much electricity to run. It's all plus, plus, plus. I mean, the only downside, and it's a massive downside, is the speed. So a regular computer will take a hundredth of a second to calculate the square root of a four digit number. DNA computer, hours to do exactly the same calculation. As I said before, the biggest plus for DNA computers is that they can interact with the external environment. They can interact with what's around you. So what are the advantages of these? Well, just think about it. Interacting with drugs, interacting with medicines, releasing medicines into our bodies, interacting with viruses, interacting with bacteria, attacking, destroying cancer cells. The limits for this DNA technology are absolutely endless. So this DNA technology has already been used to identify tuberculosis in patients. Now, of course, there are some issues. Like I say, the speed is a massive downside, but in my opinion, the possible advantages by far outweigh the time and effort it would take to look at increasing the speed. Who knows, you could be watching this on a DNA computer of the future. That is DNA Computing. Thanks for tuning in. Love you, bye, love you, bye, love you, bye.